reported November the 17th, Halifax, a Nova Scotia pastor who organized a religious gathering linked to a deadly COVID-19 outbreak at a long-term care home has been fined for violating health orders. The provincial government used, uh, issued a news release today stating that Robert Smith pastor of the Gospel Light Baptist Church in Amherst, Nova Scotia, has been fined $2,422 for violating COVID-19 rules during the event last month, which was October. Nova Scotia Premier Tim Houston says the outbreak was preventable and alleges the religious event showed a, quote, complete disregard, end of quote, for public health measures. The release says that on October the 25th to the 29th event in Amherst was attended by many people who were not vaccinated and is responsible for secondary transmissions in the northern and western health zones. In workplaces, and at the East Cumberland Lodge care home in Pugwash, Nova Scotia. At least 41 cases involving 31 residents and 10 staff have been identified at the care home and two residents have died. The province says the October faith gathering has also been tied to a third death in the Northern Health Zone. Quote, because of the actions of a reckless few, we now have a spike in cases related to an illegal gathering in the Northern Zone in October, end of quote. Houston said that in the news release. Goes on to say here, the release, uh, the pastor who attended the October event said Tuesday, he believed organizers followed the rules as they understood them. Brandon Lake, pastor of Amazing Grace Baptist Church in Bridgetown, Nova Scotia, said in an interview that he and about 20 members of his congregation attended the event organized by Smith. It was attended by, quote, at least 100 people, end of quote, Lake said adding that organizers believe they were following the government's COVID-19 guidelines. He said it was unclear at the time whether participants of faith gatherings were required to show proof of vaccination. The province's health authorities, meanwhile, have said the event's organizers did not require attendees to show vaccination proof. Nova Scotia's current COVID-19 health orders include a requirement for proof of vaccination for indoor and outdoor festivals and for events involving arts and culture. Proof of vaccination is not required for regular religious services. We go on to this Smith pastor. Meanwhile, Smith was heard in a recording of his church sermon last Sunday describing what happened as, quote, unfortunate. Going on with the quote, this whole event has been hard. There's no doubt about that, Smith said in a video posted to Facebook. Quoting again, it's been hard on me, not just emotionally, but physically. But we still have to glorify God. It's a choice each of us have to make. End of quote. Smith added that while there are people trying to shame us, it doesn't mean we have to be shamed. He asked the congregation whether their phones had been ringing off the hook by news agencies saying, mine has. Quote, people are trying to shame us, but I will never be ashamed of what I do for Christ. Is the thing unfortunate? Yes, but I'm not ashamed because I did what I'm 110% sure 
sure that Christ wanted me to do, end of quote. The Facebook post could be seen on Tuesday, but it has since been taken down. Listen, you ministers out there, and I know it's relatively few of you who think that you don't have to obey the laws of the land. There is nothing in God's word that says you are always to gather together 100% of members all together, all at every time. There's nothing in God's word that says you shall never wear a face mask. There's nothing in God's word that said you shall never social distance. This whole thing by some of these few ministers is disgusting. It is horrible. I'm going to tell you, this is not the will of Christ. We are, as Jesus said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's and unto God what is God's. There is no law in the Bible stating that you just can disobey government laws, government laws that, that are not leading you to disobey God. We should be concerned for our fellow men. We should be concerned. COVID can be transmitted. You can even have it and not have any symptoms and pass it along to people. We should, as true followers of Christ, not some made up, supposedly Christ spoke to me and told me to do this. It's utter ridiculousness. I'm going to tell you what I think of these kind of pastors. From my family word finder, by Reader's Digest, under the phrase idiot. Stupid. Empty-headed. Absurd. Asinine. Moronic. Imbecile. Stupidly clumsy or careless. Ridiculous. Foolhardy. Senseless. Dopey, nutty, and crazy. Now that is what you are. You who will willfully disobey laws of the land that are not breaking any of the laws of God. I wonder what Bible you are reading. What dreams are you having? You think that they're coming from Christ to do such Marodic, stupid things as this? It is not from God. It is not from Christ. Jesus said, where two or three of you are gathered together, there I am in the midst of you. You don't have to have dozens upon dozens of people gathering under these conditions. You should, all of you, be careful in your gatherings as groups. And you should be following the laws of the land. It's not wrong to follow the laws of the land. We have speed limit laws. We have many laws of the land that we should obey. We have in Canada the distraction law while you're driving. If you're looking at things and being distracted, you can be fined for it. We have laws that govern us in many, many ways. And they are there from the governments of our land to safeguard us, to help us. It is not wrong to follow the laws of the land when they lead you not to break any commandments of God. If the law of the land was set up that it was in direct opposition to the law of God, that as Peter said in the book of Acts, we are to obey man, we are to obey God rather than man. But these laws on COVID are not against anything that is in the Bible. And we need to realize 
the seriousness of this. And we need to admit that there are some loony people out there that call themselves pastors who are not true pastors coming from Christ's church. And we need to wake up and realize the seriousness of this. And you need to ask yourself at times, am I really being told by Christ? to do such and such that could have bad, serious consequences? Or is it from, yes, is it from the other one, from the enemy, from Satan the devil? There are things that many pastors do that are not from God, but they are from, indeed, Satan the devil. And we need to realize it and admit it. And these people that do such things need to get down on their knees and repent. It is time to open your eyes, to read the word of God, and to follow what God and Jesus say in his word. And there is nothing in the word of God to say that you can just disregard health measures by the nations that set up those health measures to safeguard us. It's logical and common sense, and we need to put away the vanity of thinking that we can just disregard these laws. We need to put away that vanity, and we need to humble ourselves. And if we have to, we need to repent deeply. Because so many people can be affected, even to death. That is not the way to love our neighbor as ourselves. It's time to be sober and to be repentant and to be following the true word of God.